thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. As you join us, just type, thank you, Jesus. Just type, thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 We bless you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. May your name be praised forever and ever. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Let's begin to thank and bless the name of the Lord. We give him all the praise, we give him all the honor, we give him all adoration. It is because of his great mercies. That is the reason why we are not consumed it is only by the grace and the mercies and the faithfulness of God that has kept you and I, preserved you and I, protected you and I, kept you and I to be here today. And we want to thank him for seeing us through the week. We want to thank him for starting a new season with us. And um, it will be a month to be remembered. And I pray for you that you will experience the divine visitation of the Lord. I want us to thank God for this new season. I want us to bless his name. And, 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 and give him all the praise for the opportunity to see yet another season in our lives. Um, not everybody was able to transition into this season, but by God's grace, you are alive. By God's grace, you are still here. And we just want to acknowledge the fact that it is only God who has kept us from January until now, if it hadn't been for the mercies of God. The Bible says it was of the lost mercies that we are not consumed. Why? Because his compassion filleth not. They are new every morning greatest faithfulness towards us so please lift up your voice with me even right now and begin to acknowledge and celebrate god for his faithfulness and his goodness and helping you to see yet another month thank him for this day thank him for your family your children your loved ones and bless his holy name we worship you jesus we worship you jesus we worship you jesus we magnify you jesus we celebrate you jesus and throw new Jesus. We say thank you. 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 He say thank you. We bless your name, Jesus. We worship your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We celebrate your name, Jesus. You are worthy, 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 oh God, 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 to receive all the praise, you are worthy, oh God, to receive all the honor, you are worthy, oh God, to receive all adoration, for you are a faithful God, for you are a good God, for you are a merciful God. For you are gracious God, for you are wonderful God. Wonderful is your name, O oh Lord God Almighty. Worthy is your name. You are merciful. You are glorious. You are a good God. You are gracious. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. Who is like unto thee, O God? Among the gods, who is like unto thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, and you do wonders. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for sustenance. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for protection. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for strength. Thank you for seeing us through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. We thank you. September, we thank you for how far you have brought us and our families. We thank you for divine protection and preservation. We thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. 
we glorify you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. This is how far you brought us, O God. We are grateful. We are thankful. We appreciate you. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. What a faithful God we serve. Angels bow before you, heaven and earth adore you. We serve a mighty, glorious God. We just say say thank you. We are here to 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 say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, Lord God Almighty, how awesome is your name. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. 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 The Bible says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us. I want us to pray right now and ask God for mercy and forgiveness. That the Lord who created in me, created in you, created in us a clean heart and new and a right spirit within us, wash us with his precious blood and help us to be holy and righteous before him. Let's ask him for mercy and forgiveness. Lord, we come before you even today. Your word says that we should be holy just as you are holy. We should be righteous just as you are righteous God. Father God, we pray that if any areas of our lives have, we have fallen short of your glory by the sins of disobedient rebellion and insubordination, whatever we have done wrong, O oh Lord, according to your, against your commandments, your ordinances, your precepts, O oh Lord, your Holy Spirit, we confess our sins before you right now. If there be any evil thought, if there be any negative words that has proceeded from our mouth, if there be any actions, reactions, inactions that we have done that doesn't glorify you, we ask for your mercy now. We ask for your forgiveness now. We ask for cleansing now. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord. Purge us, Lord. Purify us, Lord. Sanctify us, Lord. Oh, for your word is truth, O oh Lord Almighty. Take away every greed. Take away every selfishness. Take away every lie. Take away every anger. Take away every covetousness. Take away every jealousy. Take away every enviness, any bitterness, any resentment, any unforgiveness, any hate, any prejudice. Take away from us every self-righteousness. Take away from us any hate, bitterness, resentment. Whatever is in our lives that doesn't glorify you, the last of the flesh, the last of the eye, the pride of life, Father, forgive us. Forgive us from spiritual lethargy, spiritual laziness, not reading the scriptures and obeying your commandments as we should. Not, O oh Lord, evangelizing and telling people about Jesus Christ as we should, not obeying and hearkening to your word as we should, any areas of our lives, not walking by faith and, and, and praying and trusting you as we should. Lord, every areas of our lives that we have fallen short of your glory, we ask for your mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on us. Have mercy, Lord. Forgive us. Wash us by the blood. Cleanse me by the blood. Purge me by the blood. Anything in our lives that doesn't glorify you, Lord God Almighty, reveal it to us and help us to change. Help us to be transformed. Change us, Lord. Wash us, Lord. Cleanse us from our iniquities, from our transgression, from our sins, our shortcomings, our flaws, all our, our weaknesses. Lord, forgive us. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want you to pray for grace. Uh, we've transitioned into a new season and we need the grace and the mercies of God. In fact, before we even go there, I want you to give a special prayer, a special prayer. Say, Father, I thank you that you have helped me to live to see yet another season. You have helped me to see another day, another month. Lord, I thank you for helping me to see this month. Help me to see this season. Help me to see today, this week. Father, I thank you that you have made it possible that me too i'm a part of the living i'm not dead i am not dead i'm not buried i am not in the casket or in the mortuary father but i am amongst the living i just want to say thank you that you have blessed me with yet another day another week another month another season of my life and i'm grateful i am eternally grateful to be alive and to be here thank you jesus let's give a special thanksgiving let's pray for special let's give a special thanksgiving for god for helping us see this month i thank you for my life my wife my sons and daughters i thank you for my brothers sisters my parents i thank you for fresh fire ministry our members lord we are grateful we are grateful we are thankful we appreciate you lord it is only by your grace oh god it is only by your mercy oh god it is only by your grace oh god it is only by your mercy oh god it is only by your grace oh god God. It is only by your mercy, oh God. That's why we are not consumed. We say thank you, Jesus. 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 We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We are
adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Praise you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. It is only by grace that has brought us this far. Some of us have been through so many challenges, so many attacks, so many struggles, so many problems, so many battles. But you have kept us, O Lord. You have sustained us, O Lord. You have preserved us, O Lord. You have defended us, O Lord. You have helped us, O God. Your helping hand, you have sustained us by your grace. We thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us this far. We have come this far by faith. We have come this far by your grace. We have come this far by faith. We have come this far by your grace. It is only by your grace and mercy. We couldn't have done it, not by our might or by our power, but by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Blessed Redeemer. Blessed be your name. We worship you. Thank you for this season. Thank you for this week. Thank you for this month. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this, what you are doing, a new thing in our lives. Thank you for a new beginning. Thank you for a new beginning. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wants me to tell somebody, there was a prayer you prayed, oh Lord, before the end of the month, before the end of the week, before God says you will be having some incredible testimonies in the beginning of this new season. Incredible, supernatural things you were praying for, you will start to manifest seeing it. Things you were praying for, you will start seeing it. Somebody, God says that the things you were praying for and believing God for, you will start seeing it you will start experiencing it you will start walking into it you have been praying oh open door for me open door for me and it seems as though no door was opening no 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 you are going to see yourself entering into doors you are going to see yourself doors open left and right because your prayer is now coming into what fruition your your prayers will be now manifesting so be be expectant be expectant that God is doing a new thing in your life during this season. Thank you, Jesus, for your good word in our lives. Hallelujah. I want us to pray that the Lord should fill us and empower us with his Holy Ghost and with his power. Yesterday is gone. Last week is gone. Last month is gone. Last season is gone. It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new week. We pray for grace. We pray for grace. We pray for strength. We pray for anointing. We pray for, 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 for empowerment. May the Lord empower us as we move forward. And now we pray for that he restored my soul. May the Lord restore our soul, body, soul, and spirit. May the Lord restore our strength. May the Lord rejuvenate us, revive us, revamp us, reinvigorate us. May the Lord empower us, fill us with his Holy Ghost and power. We need fresh oil for this month, fresh oil for this season, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil. Begin to pray for the fresh grace and fresh oil in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mata la da branda da da si ke te lebo shanda kende le le vasu kala vanda le vesente le baba mente le le zanda le babus rapa la ba shanda le katuli anta la baba ba vansu kabranda da 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 I pray for fresh oil I pray for fresh fire I pray for fresh power I pray O God that you baptize us O Lord with the Holy Ghost and power with the Holy Ghost and fire fill us O Lord fill us O Lord until we are filled and full with your power from on high. Baptize us from power with power from on high. Baptize us with your power. Baptize us with your strength. Baptize us with your grace. Mentelebe, rampalebes, rakatales, mankuna mayas, rakatayades, ninkanemedes, rapapalabados, rakatalaleles, rapanenesikates, basukore kata, vendolovodos, rabashanda. I pray for grace. I pray for strength. I pray for power. I pray for anointing. I pray for your sustaining grace upon us, Lord. Fill us, O Lord. Fill us, O Lord. Fill me, Lord, baptize us, Lord, with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, Holy Ghost and power, 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 Holy Ghost and fire, power from on high, grace from on high, anointing from on high, Rabba Shata, Reba Shekata, Mendele Katu, Masukapala, then Devede. Randa vados pentelete pa 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 ra pa pa se ra pa pa le vendo vendos venda vanda randa dades pekolo boshanta mantu ni miketele katulia in the name of Jesus fill me Lord baptize us Lord strengthen us Lord by your Holy Ghost and power in the name of Jesus Lord make your strength be made available to us 
in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Now I want you to soak yourselves as you have entered into this season, this month, oh Lord, my Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We cover our body, soul, and spirit. We cover our loved ones, our, pro our properties, our brothers and sisters, parents, our, our, our sons and daughters, grandchildren, our husbands and wives. We cover our cars, our going out and coming in. We cover our entire family in the precious blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus to preserve and protect us from harm's way. In the name of Jesus, begin to plead the blood, that the blood of Jesus will protect you this month, this season, and this day, and you and your entire family from every evil. Begin to pray for divine protection and divine preservation. Very, very important that the blood will keep you throughout the course of the week, the course of the month, the course of the season, that no evil, no evil, no evil shall come near your dwelling place. A thousand will fall on your side, ten thousand on, on your right hand. Only with your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked. The reward of the wicked, it shall not come near you. No weapon formed against you and fast against you shall prosper and every lips that is risen up against against you risen up against you in judgment god will condemn it god will give you the power to condemn it in the name of jesus we plead the blood we plead the blood over our sons and daughters we plead the blood of our husbands and wives we plead the blood over our families we plead the blood of our marriages we plead the blood over our brothers and sisters our parents our loved ones our family members our work our co-workers our our jobs our finances are going out and coming in everything that pertains to us everything that is dear to our heart we cover them all in the precious blood of jesus let the blood preserve us let the blood protect us let the blood defend us let the blood shield us let the blood serve as a buffer let the blood serve as a shade a canopy that will protect and shield us from all evil lord deliver us from evil by the precious blood of jesus deliver us from evil this month oh god deliver us from the evil whatever the devil has plotted whatever the devil has schemed whatever the devil has devised against us against our marriage against our health against our going out and coming in against our health against our children against our properties against our jobs father we deliver me lord deliver us lord deliver our children lord deliver our husbands and wives deliver our entire family from all evil from calamity from tragedy from misfortune from every mishaps from evil arrows from evil darts from curses from spells from charms from demonic attacks father deliver us by the precious blood by the precious blood we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood as our passover for the bible says when i see the blood i shall pass over you and the destroyer the devourer the destroyer the destroyer will not be able to destroy Hey, Jesus, Jesus, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood over our sons and daughters. We plead the blood over our bodies and soul and spirit. Let the blood keep us from every sickness. Let the blood keep us from every high blood pressure, every cancer, every diabetes every kidney problem, liver problem, heart problem, every stroke, every demo, de satanic pains and satanic affliction. Lord, let the blood keep us from witchcraft attacks. Let the blood keep us and protect us from demonic arsenals and assaults. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus to preserve and protect us from evil nightmare, from evil dream, demonic forces that are always intended to do us mischief. Lord, protect us by the blood of Jesus. Protect us. Protect us. Deliver us from from all evil in the name of Jesus. As you have entered into this new season, I want you to pray. Let God arise and let every enemies of this seasons of my life, this month, every enemies that will try to sabotage God's divine purposes for my life, let God arise and let my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let the forces of evil be scattered. Let God arise. Let my adversaries be scattered. Let God arise. Let the witches and wizards, the satanic agent that are planning my hurt, my harm, that are planning my downfall and my demise, whatever they have plotted and whatever they have hatched and incubating to begin to manifest against me this month, let God arise and let God scatter their plans, frustrate their plans, scatter their plans according to Psalm 68 verse 1. May God arise on your behalf and begin to frustrate the evil counsel, the evil verdict, the evil decision, the evil concocted, plotted devices of the devil against your marriage, against your health, against your finances, against your life, whatever sickness, whatever disease, whatever calamity, 
tragedy, misfortune, they have plotted program for you. May God scatter their plans. As you God scatter their plans, no weapon formed against us this man shall prosper. Oh God, arise and let our enemies be scattered. Begin to pray. Let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise on our behalf. Let God arise on our behalf. Let God arise on behalf of our sons and daughters, on behalf of our husbands and wives, on behalf of our families, on behalf of our marriage, on behalf of our body, soul, and spirit, our grandchildren, great grandchildren. Let God arise, let our enemies be scattered, the enemies of our faith, the enemies of our lives, the enemies of our destiny, the enemies of our purpose, the enemies of our visions and dreams and goals and aspirations. Let them be scattered, let them be scattered, let them be scattered, let them be scattered. Whatever they have plotted, whatever they have planned, whatever they have devised, whatever they have schemed, whatever they have plot against us, planned against us, concocted with whatever their evil schemes against us, projection against us, expectation against us, let God arise. Let their, our enemies, let them be scattered, let them be scattered, let them be scattered. Lord, scatter them by fire. Lord, scatter them by thunder. Lord, scatter them by fire. Wherever they meet to take decision, wherever they meet to take counsel, wherever they meet to take plot and plan and conspire against us, Lord, scatter them in their coven, scatter them in their shrines, scatter them in their temple, scatter them in their gathering, scatter them in their network, scatter their conspiracy, scatter their conspiracy, scatter their network, scatter their alliance, scatter their, their co collisions in the name of Jesus, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, scatter their evil plot, scatter their evil schemes in the name of Jesus, whatever they have plotted, it shall not stand, it shall not prosper, it shall not stand, it shall not prosper, deliver us, O God, deliver us, O God, deliver us, O God, from their evil verdict, deliver us, O Lord, from their evil protection, pro predictions and projections. Pro deliver us, O Lord, from their evil expectation. Let God arise. Let our enemies and their evil plot against us be scattered. Deliver us from all tragedies. Deliver us from accidents, from premature death. Deliver us from sickness and diseases, from bad luck. Deliver us, O Lord, from misfortune. Evil women, evil women, evil patterns, satanic, satanic attacks, satanic patterns. Lord, arise scatter, scatter, scatter their plans, frustrate their plans, scatter their plans, overturn their plans, override their plans, overrule their plans, and come to our rescue. Deliver us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Deliver our sons and daughters. Deliver our grandchildren. Deliver our parents. Deliver our brothers and sisters. Deliver our families. Deliver our homes. Deliver our marriages. Deliver our jobs from the demons, from the witches, from the wizards, from our enemies, from our adversaries. Oh Lord, arise, 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 arise and fight for us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. O kapa fetes kabranda kabo sete brade dosepe manto leleve kapapa rapopo lebe de 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 rabada vedo dosoko toya dada e bazuka brade de de dosuka braba de de e de vedo vaso para bashanda de de e saka e fedo soprete rabada bado de 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 brada da 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 rave de 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 inkasike de boshanda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We are going to pray. Father, this month, arise and contend. Let's go to Psalms 35. Psalms 35. That the Lord will arise and contend with those who are contending. It says that, rise up for my cause, O Lord. Meaning, Lord, come to my defense. Stand up for me and speak for me and come to my defense. We are praying this prayer because... There are certain forces, especially from our foundation. There are certain powers from our foundation that have resolved, they've made a resolution that they will not allow us to make heads way. They will not allow us to fulfill God's purpose for our lives. This prayer, we are praying against foundational powers. We are praying against what? Foundational, foundational powers. powers. Foundational powers are evil spirits within your bloodline. Evil spirit within your bloodline. It may be fighting you from your mother's bloodline or fighting you from your father's bloodline. But these are generational. Generational. Sometimes these same spirits are the powers that fought your mom. And now they want to go further to begin to afflict and fight you also. When we read the book of Jabez, we realize that Jabez's mother went through pain and she also called the daughter, uh, his son, 
pain, Jabez. So from mother to son, from mother to son. So that is a, a spirit that will afflict parent and then begin to afflict their children and if you give it the opportunity it will also afflict grandchildren and great-grandchildren i'm talking about foundational powers within our bloodline these are familiar spirits they, they are familiarized with your ancestors they have dealt with your ancestors uh, for many generations expect one familiar spirit we realize in the bible was the spirit of pharaoh who for generations of 430 years he had enslaved the children of israel so immediately you are born and you come out as an israelite you are automatically a slave and you will be under the bondage of pharaoh why because he was what the spirit that was ruling over the nation of israel and therefore moses mother moses grandmother great-grandparents were all subject to the spirit of pharaoh until god brought deliverance to the israelite from the bondage and captivity of the spirit so i'm saying that this is a, fam fa a familiar spirit he is familiarized with your ancestors to the 400 years 500 years he has dealt with them so he knows you before you even came they know you that's why they even knew moses that moses was going to be a deliverer and that's why when moses was born immediately they went after his life to try to kill all the children around his age why because they didn't want to him to be a deliverer so we are talking about that god will contend with foundational powers in our mother's bloodline foundational powers in our father's bloodline that have resolved they have, their resolution is that they will not let you fulfill god's purpose or god's prophetic assignment or mandate in your life will surely not come to pass and as an example as i'm saying is moses immediately pharaoh realized that moses is going to be a deliverer and out of moses will come the liberation and emancipation of the children of israel from captivity of 430 the first thing happened is that when moses was born the pharaoh told the midwives that any child who was born who was a male must be killed they must be killed and some of us they are after our very lives to kill us they want to kill you very physically but when they don't succeed then they want to what uh, sabotage kill your dreams kill your vision kill your goals kill your aspirations kill your purpose and so that they render you they incapacitate and render you useless we are going to pray that may the lord deliver us especially this season from foundational powers foundational powers foundational powers is when when you are fighting these powers you realize that every day when you dream your dreams are not very good you keep on dreaming and finding yourself in the village uh, where you were born where you were raised you find yourself in in, in 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 a classroom taking an exams and you couldn't pass the exams or the exams was too difficult and you found yourself in the exams failing or you dream and you realize that in the dream you were going on a journey and you were left behind and others were going ahead of you and you realize that you were left behind or you are climbing a ladder and as you were climbing the ladder you fell from the ladder or the ladder or the elevator or escalator was taking you downwards or you were climbing a, a hill or a mountain and you start you started falling this means that you have a, a, a foundational powers fighting you some people also dream and they find themselves uh, wearing sleeve cloth tattered torn clothing it's a significance that spiritually they have bound you and they have made you uh, a captive a slave a slave and sometimes to you, you you dream and in the dream you realize that you are toiling you are working so hard and you are you are going through so much challenge in the dream and, and or frustrated in the dream it means foundational powers have a hold on your destiny some people even dream and then they find themselves lost trying to find them trying to find the way out you find yourself lost at a place and you are looking for direction and nobody seems to be wanting to give you direction and you are just wandering around meaning that they are making you useless and making you a vagabond 
and, and, and a fugitive whereby you are wandering around in life without any goal, any vision, you are going nowhere. They are putting you in a vicious cycle of you going back and forth, going back and forth. Or you dream and you find yourself struggling, struggling in the dream to do something, struggling or contending with a spirit or contending with a something. And you wake up and you feel in the dream you were tired, but you woke up and you realize that you are even physically tired out of a bad dream that you had. You dream and you see your teeth removed, toothless, very, very bad, very bad. You dream and you see yourself in f seeing feces, toilet, the, 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 uh, sewage. It is a very bad signal, very, very bad signal. You see yourself counting coin, coins. You don't hold fiscal paper money, but you are filled with uh, a lot of changes or coins, 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 coins of your currency. And you realize that or you find yourself in, in 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 a farm whereby you are harvesting rotten fruits rotten fruit or rotten food the, the things you are taking is rotten or you are always having pennies and changes all around you it means that that familiar spirit is attacking you with poverty serious poverty and, and, and sometimes too, uh, when you are dealing with these foundational powers, you keep on dreaming of eating. You keep on eating in your dream. You keep on eating in your dream. Every time you find yourself eating or somebody's feeding you in your dream or you find a food that you love and you start eating in the dream and that can become a sign of backwardness and bad omen and disappointment and rejection upon your life. When you keep on seeing that kind of consistent, I'm talking about when you consistently, you are consistently eating in the dream or even when they come in to have sex with you. When they come in to have sex with you, it means they have come to contaminate your life so much that good things will not come to your life. Come to your life. Come to your life. So these are some of the things that these generational strongholds um, if you don't learn to stand your grounds and fight against it, they'll keep on bringing about rejection and disappointment, rejection and disappointment, rejection. And sometimes too, you find yourself bumping into spider webs, spider webs, spider webs, spider webs, spider webs. When you are consistently encountering spider webs, uh, even in your dreams or physically, it's a sign that you're having some serious foundational strong man or strong demonic entities that are attacking your life you need to be proactive you need to take your fasting seriously you need to take your prayer life seriously you need to be able to stand up against the forces of darkness so that you don't become a captive a captive a captive of this evil spirit but today we are going to pray that the lord will be merciful to us and stand up and help us and deliver us from these contending, challenging principalities that do not want you to see the glory of God. So join me as we go to Psalms 35, Psalms 35, Psalms 35, Psalms 35. May the Lord give you victory this month, this season, over every foundational powers that refuses to allow you to break forth and break through in the name of Jesus. Psalms 35. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 35, verse you can 1. Start reading verse 1. Psalm 35, verse 1. Plead my cause, O Lord. Plead my cause, O Lord. With those who strive with me. Plead my cause, O God, with those who are striving with me. I'm talking about powers from my mother's house, powers from our father's house, generational strongholds, evil spirit within the bloodline, evil witchcraft. These spirits work alongside with household witches to enforce that nobody rises, nobody excels, nobody succeeds, nobody enjoys God's prosperity, nobody enjoys their marriage, nobody makes it in life, or nobody gets a good job, nobody finishes their school. It's, it's a whole lot of, a whole package. And if you are not consistent in addressing these spirit uh, life becomes a roller coaster up today down tomorrow up today down tomorrow up today down tomorrow 
and they will frustrate you until you go to your grave. But today, the Lord shall plead your cause. Say, plead my cause, O God. Please, my cause, O Lord. Plead my cause, O God. Plead my cause, O Lord. Yeah, continue. With those who strive with me. With those who strive with me. Meaning somebody, and an entity is striving with you. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a generational spirit, a familiar spirit, ancestry spirit, ancient spirit. It's in the bloodline. Pharaoh, immediately you are born in Egypt, Pharaoh has control over you. Immediately you are born in, in Egypt, Pharaoh automatically controls you. You are a slave. Before you were born, your mother was a slave, your grandmother was a your great-grandfather. When you come out, yeah, you are a slave already. They just come you and say, okay, you, you will be fetching water. You, you will be, um, you, you will be getting clay. You, you will be getting... By the time you come out, they have already prescribed this, uh, giving you a, a description of the kind of slave job you are supposed to do. In the same way with our bloodline. Before you come out, the Spirit has already put upon you the cloth of poverty. Before you came out, the Spirit has put in you on, on the filthy cloth of singleness. Before you came out, the Spirit has put on you the, the cloth of premature death because that is what goes on in this family. So you are coming out and then they just enroll you. They just enroll you. They put it on you as an, a filthy garment. A filthy garment of rejection. Today I was at the store to buy something and as i was in the store in the line a, a guy came in and saw me in the line but for whatever reason went he was holding some just coke soda so he just <laughs> bypassed me and went and put it in front of the cashier and say ring me and the lady says that you what is wrong with you what is wrong with your behavior you came to see somebody else and, and then the guy also became upset. And he said, do you think I can't speak English and I speak French? That's why you are disrespecting me and you're always speaking bad, bad at me, uh, against me. Uh, this is not the first time you've been doing this to me. Yesterday I came here, you, you did. And the woman says that I'm not disrespecting you because you don't speak English. And, 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 but I'm, I'm saying that your behavior, your mannerism is bad. You came to see a customer and then you bypass the customer and come and put <laughs> the thing in front of me that ring. And it ensued an altercation, a back and forth between the customer and then the store manager or the owner of the store. And I was just watching. And I was trying to not side with anybody, but try to bring peace. But when I left, the Holy Spirit revealed to me the reason for what happened, why things transpired spiritually. And God told me that you see this guy, he's being followed by a spirit. And the spirit that follows him has marked him with rejection and disappointment. He's been what? Marked with rejection and disappointment. So now, everywhere he goes, he must do something or people must do something to reject him. So what happens is that either he shows up and a person automatically rejects him or he will do something to provoke you okay, so to, you will, you will reject him and you will, this, you will be angry with him because there's a spirit. And that's why he was saying that because what he was saying, and that's what, the, when he was talking, the woman says that, you see how he's thinking? He doesn't think right. You see how he's thinking? I'm saying that, why have you bypassed this customer and placed the thing before me? And you are telling me that because I'm not speaking French and because I don't speak English and I speak French, that's why you are treating me this way. And he says, what has French and English got to do with what we are dealing with, your behavior? You came and bypassed this guy and put the thing in front of me, say, ring. And I'm addressing the issue that it is wrong. And you're telling me that because I'm a French person and I speak French and I don't speak English very well, that's why you are disrespecting me and that's why you are treating me this how. And the woman says that. And the woman was pointing it to me that you see how he's thinking. There's something wrong with this guy. But then the Holy Spirit gave me a spiritual understanding that this guy is being followed by a familiar spirit. And that familiar spirit is tagging his life with rejection 
and disappointment. So everywhere, because he says that this is not the first time I've come into this store. Yesterday I was here. Last time I came here, I thought you were playing with me, but I realized that you are serious, that you are disrespecting me. And the woman says, every time you come here, you behave in a way that causes. And then the guy started bringing out his profile. Do you think I'm, I'm, I'm stupid? Do you think I'm a nobody? I have, I have uh, uh, an accounting degree in my country. I, I've done this. I've accomplished things. So don't think I'm crazy. So the guy was trying to now also show or prove to the woman that, please don't perceive me as though I'm a crazy person or I, I'm nobody. But no matter what he was saying, his behavior and his attitude was contrary to his degree and whatever it is. Because God said it is a spirit. There is a spirit that follows him. So wherever he goes, the spirit will announce, reject him, disappoint him, reject him, deny him, reject him. He must be rejected. And yesterday he's qualified. Yesterday he has many, but he is followed by this unclean spirit. And therefore, not only once, because why should the manager who knows that he comes every day to purchase something, to, to profit the store, the woman should have said, oh, because you are coming to buy from me, I must even what be nice to you so that you keep on coming. But you realize that the, the woman was saying that I don't even need you here anymore. Don't come here again. Take your problem. Why? Because that's the spirit of rejection. Why? Because there was an unclean spirit that was monitoring his life. Even though he's an accountant, even though he's intelligent, that spirit is making his life useless. And it was when he stepped out and I stepped out, he started trying to explain himself to me what he is and all that. And the Holy Spirit was saying that until he deals with this spirit, ancestry spirit, generational stronghold that has, is following him, everywhere he goes either people will automatically you know sometimes you you go to a certain store and a cash register a cashier is is helping customers everybody is nice he's nice he's nice immediately he gets to you their attitude change and they are mean to you and you wonder ah, you were just nice to this customer nice to every immediately you go to my turn why are you mean no no you have to understand that at that moment you are dealing with a spirit that is following you from your ancestry, from your background, that want to frustrate. That's why here he's saying, Psalm 35, plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Those who strive with me. It doesn't matter your qualification. It doesn't matter your experience. It doesn't matter your technical know-how. It doesn't matter your expertise. It doesn't matter how beautiful you are. It doesn't matter how, how immediately rejection immediately disappointment immediately those who shut on you people will not treat you well have you asked yourself why is that constantly consistently continuously constantly people are constantly looking down on you mistreating you talking to you anyhow disrespecting you rejecting you uh, and you ask yourself now what what, are, what else do, do i do to just take this image away and it's everywhere you go at that moment, you realize that you are dealing with an what? A foundational powers. And here you have to come to terms. Today, my heart was broken because I, the, the woman didn't have patience to understand where this guy was coming from. I, God gave me understanding that because of what? His foundation. With all his experience, he's been reduced to the point that even though he's much, so much well educated than this lady, but yesterday, the lady treats him like nobody, an non-entity. Why? Because there is a spirit that has tagged his life with useless, disappointment, rejection. So wherever he goes, and you could realize that there's a young man who is just frustrated in life because everywhere he goes, he gets that kind of treatment. And some of us, the same thing. Today, I'm standing in agreement with you. That may the Lord plead our cause. Amen. Any spirit that consistently, constantly causes you to fail. Any spirit that consistently, constantly causes you to be defeated in everything that you do. Every spirit that consistently causes you to express rejection and disappointment. Any spirit that consistently causes you to be delayed in everything that you try to do or cause you to struggle. You struggle to receive help. You struggle to make a headway. Everything about your life is hardship, difficulties, and struggle. Or a spirit that is constantly afflicting your life with so much issues and problems. 
may the Lord plead our cause for us. My heart was broken for this guy, and I understood him perfectly. God says, until this spirit is rebuilt and is delivered, it will be his lifestyle. And some of us, that's how our life is. We enter into a relationship, and very soon, the guy will start taking advantage of us, use us, dump us. We enter into friendship with people. They just get, they use us, get what they want from us, they dump us. We, we, we start something, and by the time we realize we, we, we are so optimistic, it will work out, and then later on, nothing works out. It, it's like, I'm talking about consistent, continuous, constant, something that keeps on evil cycle, that keeps on going. Today, may God plead our cause. Lord, plead our cause with evil spirit demonic spirit, witchcraft spirit, ancestry spirit, that you want to make it, but they are pulling you. Sometimes you, you you dream and you realize that you are trying to make a headway and people are literally pulling you back, pulling you back or resisting you, or you've dreamt many times and there's a door you must enter, but the door is slammed shut. The door is slammed shut. The door is slammed shut. You, are, you, 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 you dream and you find yourself naked, naked in your dream, naked. You are just naked, naked naked, naked in the dream, meaning that this ancestral spirit want to disgrace you, humiliate you. They don't want anything good to come out of your life. You, In your dream, you find yourself struggling to get help, assistance of direction, and you realize that, wow, in the physical realm, it's the same thing, in the same thing. Father, in the name of Jesus, plead my cause against powers. We are going to pray first against powers in our mother's house powers in our mother's house any power in my mother's house that fought my mother that want to fight me that want to destroy me that want to sabotage god's purpose for my life this month i'm going to live to fulfill god's purpose for my life lord plead my cause against altars in my mother's house plead my cause against altars in my mother's house against household witches in my mother's house against familiar spirit in my mother's house against evil spirit asian spirit ancestral spirit familiar spirit in my mother's house that are contending with my life lord plead my cause deliver me from them destroy them oh god plead my cause in the name of jesus christ you have to pray aggressively this is not child's play this is not child's play this is not fanfare this is intense warfare so that this year what god has said for concerning you this month what god has said concerning you will come to pass it says plead my cause oh lord with those who strive with me fight against those who fight against me fight against those who fight against me take hold of your shield and buckler and stand for my help also draw out your spear and stop those who pursue me for say to my soul i am your salvation let them be put to shame and be brought to dishonor who seek after my life let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my head let them be like a chaff before the wind let the angel of the lord chase them let their ways be dark and slippery let the angel of the lord pursue them for without a cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit which they have dug without a cause for my life let destruction come upon him my enemies my adversary unexpectedly and let his net that he has hidden catch himself every evil net every evil plot every evil assignment agenda they have devised against me let it catch themselves let them fall into their own pit let them fall into their own trap let their arrows return back to them let it boomerang into the very destruction let him fall the evil they have plotted let them fall into it and and my soul shall be joyous joyful in the lord it shall rejoice in his salvation Amen and amen. Plead my cause. Father, any powers in my mother's house, any powers in my mother's house that has risen up against my life, against my marriage, against my finances, against my body, my health, my destiny, my son, my daughter. Father, plead my cause. Father, plead my father. Fight against the witches in my mother's house. Fight against the altars in my mother's house. Fight against the ancestral spirit in my mother's house. Fight against the agent of darkness in my mother's house that has risen up against me. Lord, arise and plead my cause. Arise and fight for me. Arise and plead my cause. Arise and fight for me. Arise and plead my cause. We're going to pray. Mantala da 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 da
Need my cross Need my cross Need my cross with God. in my mother's house. Which is not to my mother's house. Family has been in my mother's house. My sister has been to my mother's house. Jesus put my mother's house. Put us in my mother's house. Oh God, need my cross. Need my cross. Fight against them. Fight against them. Powers in the good. Good God. Thank you. Help us. Help us in my mother's begin to pray father plead my cause plead my cause Plead my cause. Fight those who are fighting against me. Contend with those who are contending against me. Those who don't want me to excel. Those who don't want me to succeed. Those who don't want me to prosper. Those who don't want me to receive your blessings. Those who don't want me to fulfill destiny. Father, plead my cause. Lord, contend with them. Lord, contend with the powers in my mother's house. Contend with the powers in my mother's house. The witches in my mother's house. The wizards in my mother's house. The unclean spirits in the mother's house. The strong man in my mother's house. The strong woman in my mother's house. The Asian powers in my mother's house. Every curse in my mother's house. Every covenant in my mother's house every part and contract in my mother's house that is fighting my life lord plead my cause lord plead my cause contend with my enemies contend with my enemies contend with my enemies fight them oh god fight them oh god fight them oh god fight them for me fight them for me fight them for me power sir that have been manifesting my dream power sir that has been causing people to turn against me power sir that has been bringing disappointment rejection failure defeat delay stagnation singleness poverty lack impoverishment that are causing my life to be useless a vagabond oh lord almighty plead my cause contend 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 we will turn with the powers that fought my mother that want to fight me contend with them in the name of jesus plead my cause fight for me plead my cause fight for me plead my fault fight for me contend <laughs> Every power in my mother's house be consumed by fire. Every power in my mother's house be consumed by fire. Every witchcraft in my mother's house be consumed by fire. Household witches in my mother's house operating witchcraft against me, sorcery against me, enticement against me be consumed by fire. Familiar spirit in my mother's house. Every strong man in my mother's house. Every strong woman in my mother's house. Any altar in my mother's house be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Mention your mother's house. Mention your mother's town. Mention your mother's town. Wherever you came from. Wherever you were born at. Wherever your mom comes from. Mention the name of that place and begin to release the fire of God to consume the witches, the wizards, the strong man, the strong woman, the evil altars, the evil shrines, the evil altars in your mother's house be consumed by fire. Evil covenant be broken by the power in the name of Jesus. Evil contract be broken. Evil powers be consumed. Evil spirit that has been manifesting in your dream, that has been attacking you in your dream because of your mother's house. Today, may the Lord plead your cause. May the Lord plead your cause. May the Lord stand up for you. May the Lord arise on your behalf. May the Lord contend with those spirits. May the Lord contend with those fight forces. May the Lord contend with those evil spirits, those witchcraft spirits, those demonic spirits, those principalities, those familiar spirits, those ancestral spirits, those dual spirits. May the Lord contend. May the Lord fight them. May the Lord fight them. May the Lord destroy them. Every valley spirit, every hill spirit, every river spirit, every ancestral spirit, every 
Holy Spirit, every power from my mother's house, witchcraft, household witches, and wizards, and agents of nothing, every strong man, my mother's house, every strong woman, my mother's house, be consumed by fire, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire, be consumed by fire, be destroyed 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 by fire, be destroyed
You think when you are eating in dream, it's 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 ordinary. You think when you sleep and somebody's having sex with you, it's ordinary. You think when you see yourself naked in dreams, it's ordinary. You think when you keep on dream, uh, physically seeing cobwebs, cobwebs entangling your face, entangling your life, it's it's ordinary. You think when you you dream and you keep on seeing yourself in the place where you were born, the place where you were raised up. Every time you dream, it takes you back to your hometown. It takes you back to your country. It takes you back to your village. It takes you back to the place you were raised up. You are old, but yes, still you find yourself in a classroom taking exams, struggling to pass the exams. Every time you dream, you are you are lost somewhere and you are trying to find your way out. In the same way, life is useless. Life is meaningless. You are wandering around life without any aim, any purpose, any compass, and, 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 and you are stagnant. Plaguing your life with financial hardship. Plaguing your life with marital confusion and destabilizing your marriage. Destabilizing everything around you. Causing it is seemingly impossible to get a job or hold a job. Financial hardship, financial difficulties, health challenges, bad dreams. Why? Because these are foundational powers. Plead my cause. Plead my cause, O oh Lord, with those who strive with me. There are witches in our mother's, our father's house, our mother's house that are striving with us. There are familiar spirits that are striving with us. There are monitoring spirits that are struggling with us. How come wherever we go, there's a bird monitoring you. There's a cat monitoring you. There's a dog monitoring you. There are vultures monitoring you. You keep on seeing certain uh, insects following you wherever you go. May the Lord plead our cause. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of your shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw your spear. Draw your spear, O Lord, and stop those who pursue me. And say to my soul, I am your salvation. You dream and then they make you start seeing dead relatives, dead relatives, dead people who have passed on, dead uncles, dead grandmother, dead cousin, dead people. You keep on seeing dead people, funeral grounds, graveyards, uh, and, and casket, and, 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 and cemeteries and all those horrible stuff. You see snakes constantly in your dream, dogs constantly... Sometimes you find yourself fighting against a dog and the dog is biting you and, 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 and vultures and, and, and all sort of strange bad dreams. You wake up and you're asking yourself, what's going on? No wonder your life is going in circles. May the Lord plead your cause. Today, pray. Please pray. Don't be lazy. Here is not for laziness. Here is not for lazy Christians. Here are people who are equipped and empowered by the Holy Ghost are taught how to wage war. He, the Bible says he trains my arms for war and my fingers for battle. He trains my arms for war and my fingers for battle. Here you are taught how to, to be trained. You are trained to for your arms to what? War and your fingers for battle. Nobody's praying nothing for you. So you are going to learn to pray and to chase and to dismantle, to destroy, to annihilate, to obliterate all these satanic, demonic, foundational evil spirit until victory is gained, until you win in the name of Jesus Christ. Be ready to fight and the victory shall be yours in the name of Jesus. You'll get that job. You'll get that marriage. You'll have peace in your marriage. You'll break through. You'll be delivered. You'll be healed. You'll be restored. You will receive the favor of God, the goodness of God. When we pray, miracles, signs and wonders, the power of the strong man, the power of the witches, the powers of these evil spirits are broken off our lives and we begin to fulfill God's purpose. This month, this season, this week, this day, God is doing a new thing in your life. That's why he says, let me plead your cause. He's, we are asking God to fight for us. We are asking God to contend against them so that you get that job, so that you get married, so that you get that promotion, so that you get that race, so that you get that victory, so that you win that court case, so that you pass the exam, so that you get that you, you get that job of your choice. May the Lord plead your cause. Let the Lord plead your cause. Let those be put to shame and be brought to dishonor. Let them be put to shame and be brought to dishonor. Who seek after my life? Let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Who plot my head? Let them be like a child before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let the angel of the Lord chase them as you are praying. Angels are chasing your enemies. The household witches and wizards from your mother's house, father's house, household witches and wizards meeting in their coven, convert meeting in their groove, meeting wherever they meet to plot your evil. The angel of the Lord will draw their sword and chase them. And the angel of the Lord will chase them. Let their ways be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without a cause, they have hidden their net for me in a pit. For without a cause, they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without 
cause for my life. They, some of us, they will even wash us dead. They want to ruin, jeopardize, and destroy our lives. But here the Bible says, let destruction comes upon him unexpectedly. Let God's destruction, let the destruction of God, let the judgment of God, let the vengeance of God, let God avenge you and let judgment come upon them unexpectedly. As you are praying today, judgment shall visit your adversaries. Judgment shall visit the wicked. Judgment shall visit the witches and wizards. Familiar spirits, evil authors, ancestral powers, ancestral spirits, the spirit husband, the spirit wife, the strong man, whoever has been tormenting, frustrating you. God's judgment will strike them right now in the name of Jesus. Unexpectedly, without them even expecting it, judgment will strike them. Lightning and thunder will strike them. Fire will consume them. Let, let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Whatever evil they plotted against you, it will be destroyed and they will fall into their own pit. They will fall into their own pit. They will fall into their own pit. The very pit they died for you, they will fall into their own pit. The net they set for you, it will catch themselves. The arrow they shot against you, it will boomerang. It will backfire and it will hit them and it will destroy you. Into the very destruction, let him fall. They shall fall into their own evil plans. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. I shall rejoice in his salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Psalms 35. Begin to pray. We are going to our Father's house. Father, plead my cause. Plead my cause. Arise and fight for me. And Father, fight against those who are fighting with me. Strive with those who are striving with me. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who fight against me. It says, fight against those who fight me. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. May the Lord st strive with those who are striving with you and fight those who are fighting with you. In the name of Jesus, we are going to our Father's house. Any powers that fought your father, any powers, any evil spirit, any demonic spirit, any ancestral spirit, any strong man, any strong woman, any household witches, any evil pattern, every evil curses in your Father's house that fought your parent, your father, that want to also fight you, that attacked your father with premature death, attacked your father with cancer, attacked your father with diabetes, attack your father with poverty, attack your father with delay, attack your father with financial hardship, attack your father in his marital destiny and ruin your father's life. And that same spirit want to, want to vex and want to attack you also and frustrate your life. May the Lord plead your cause and may the Lord deliver you. May the Lord plead your cause and fight this unclean spirit, fight this demonic spirit, fight this witches, household witches in your father's house that they will not have access into your life also. Your, your case is different. They will not have their way. Arise, O God, and please my cause. Arise, O God. Please my Arise, O God. Arise, O God. Arise, O God. Arise, O God, and plead my cause. Plead my cause, O God, with those who are fighting against me, those who are contending against me in my father's house, in my father's house, every powers in my father's house, household witches, household wizards, household evil spirit, unclean spirit, demonic spirit, demonic altars in my father's house that has risen up against my life, my destiny, evil covenant, evil curses, that evil patterns in my father's house that want to project itself upon my life. Father, plead my cause. Lord, plead my cause. Lord, plead my cause. Lord, plead my cause. Lord, deliver my life. Lord, deliver my life. Lord, rescue my life. Lord God, I sent me, oh God. Father, fight against those who are fighting with me. Lord, contend with those who are contending with me. In the name of Jesus. Rabba Shata. Rabba Palebede. Man to the Mikata. Then the Lebede. Rabba Nabado. Reba Dabada. Reba Ela 
Whatever they have brought, whatever they have devised, whatever they have plotted against me, let me destroy my fact. Let me consume my fact. Let me destroy my fact. Let me consume my fact. Let me destroy my fact. May the Lord plead your cause. May the Lord fight for you. May the Lord defend you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord shield you from powers in your father's house. Powers in your father's house. Altars in your father's house. Curses in your father's house. Evil parties in your father's house. May the Lord exempt your life. May the Lord exempt your family. May the Lord exempt your soul. May the Lord deliver you from the witches and wizards, from the ancestral spirit, monitoring spirit, evil monitoring spirit, from your father's house. Any power that fought your father, that want to fight your life. Any father that, any power that afflicted your father, that want to afflict your life. May the Lord rescue you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord fight for you. May the power of God, the anointing of God, the fire of God consume every powers in your father's house, every altar in your father's house. Let them be consumed by fire. Let them be destroyed by fire. Altars in your father's house, receive fire. Altars in your father's house, receive fire. Household witches in your father's house, receive fire. Evil spirit, one trace spirit, ancestral spirit in your father's house, receive fire. Let covenant be broken. May your life be rescued. May your life be exempted from demonic powers in your father's house in the name of Jesus. Arise, O God, and plead our cause. Arise, O God, and plead our cause. Come to our rescue. Deliver us, Lord. Fight for us. Fight around. Fight for us. Fight those who are fighting with us. Contend with those who are contending with us. Whatever trap, whatever snare that they have set for your destruction, may the Lord cause your enemies to fall into their own trap. May the Lord cause them to be captured by their own net. May the Lord rescue you from their own devices in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord be your salvation. May the Lord cause them to be confounded and put to shame. May the Lord Almighty cause his angels to chase them and strike them and destroy them. Let evil, let sudden destruction come upon the wicked in your father's house in the name of Jesus. Arise and fight for me. 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 I release fire. I release thunder. I release fire. I release thunder to perish them. To consume them. To destroy them. To perish them. To consume them. To destroy them. Rabba Shanda. 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 Rabba Lord, show me thy great mercy. Lord, show me thy great mercy. Lord, show me thy great mercy. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the precious Lord, show me thy great mercy. Lord, show me thy great mercy. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. And exempt my life. And exempt my life. Rescue my life. Rescue my life. Deliver my life. Deliver my life. Show me your salvation. Show me your salvation. From the powers. From the powers. In my mother's house. In my mother's house. In my father's house. In my father's house. Begin to pray and say, Father, show me your salvation. And rescue me from the powers in my mother's house and father's house. Show me thy salvation. Show me thy salvation. Lord, by your mercy. Lord, by your mercy. Lord, by your mercy. Show my son. Show my daughters. Show my wife. Show me, oh God. Show members of French family. Show us your salvation. By thy great mercy. By thy great mercy. Because of the blood. Because of the blood of Jesus. Exempt us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Rescue us, Lord. 
O Lord. Protect us, O Lord. Defend us, O Lord. Show us thy great mercy. Show us thy great mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. May God show you mercy. May God show you mercy. By his great mercy, because of the blood, may you be exempted from premature death. May you be exempted from calamity, from, from every predicament. May you be exempted from sudden death. May you be exempted from cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney problem, liver problem. May you be exempted from accident. May you be exempted from every injury. May you be exempted from every bad omen. May you be exempted from demonic attacks. May you be exempted from every evil affliction. May the Lord cause your life to escape from every evil arrows, every evil dart that is being shot against you. By God's great mercy, may he show you his salvation. May he save your son. May he save your daughter. May he save your husband. May he save your wife. May he save your family. May he save your child. May he save everything that God has blessed you with. May God show you his great salvation. Whatever accident they plot against you, may God rescue you from the accident. May God rescue you from the accident. May the Lord come through for you and provide by his great mercy. May he rescue you from the powers in your mother's house, from the powers from your father's house, from the curses in your mother's house, from the curses in your father's house, from the evil part in your mother's house, from the evil part in your father's house, from the bewitchment in your mother's house and father's house. May your life be exempted. May your life be exempted by the great mercy of God because of the blood, because of the blood of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus. Be exempted, be delivered, be rescued. May the curse be broken. May the bewitchment be broken. May the power of the strong man, the strong woman, the evil spirit, ancestral spirit, monetary spirit, the spiritual husband, be broken off your life. Be delivered from their affliction, from their bondage and captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Somebody, you just received deliverance from foundational powers. Those evil dreams, nightmares, and the setbacks and all attacks you are going through, you shall see them no more. Amen. The Egyptians you have been experiencing, you shall not experience them this month. You shall not experience them this season. You shall not see them anymore. The Egyptians you want you used to go through, the problems you used to go through, the hardship you used to go through, the attacks you were going through this month, this season, this day, no more, no more. The Egyptians you saw, you shall see them no more forever. You shall see them no more forever. God just delivered you. Believe. So I see towards this prophetic word, that Father, this new season, I am not, I am not going to be bound and afflicted by the powers in my mother's house and father's house. We have dealt with altars and raise an altar sacrifice and activate the altar of God to fight against the powers for you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you. Our scripture, thank you, Jesus. Please join, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click like, share, and subscribe before you exit. And also invite friends and loved ones to join us. Our scripture reading for tomorrow, God willing, is Nehemiah chapter 10. Nehemiah chapter 10 is our scripture reading for tomorrow, Nehemiah chapter 10. Please remember that, God willing, Monday we are starting our one-week fasting and prayer. Monday, God willing, Monday we are starting <coughs> our fasting and prayer. The fasting is from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening, 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. That is the time for the um, fasting. Please do well to join us. I will encourage some of you to go back and listen to this um, this service. What we just did, it is the root of many of us, our problem. It is the root. It's the root of many of our problems. Those of you who have the communion, as you partake the communion, may the Lord disconnect you and deliver you from the altars and the evil spirit in your mother's house and father's house in the name of Jesus Christ. May you experience deliverance from foundational powers. If you have your communion, let's take the communion. We bless the communion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. By the power in the blood, we separate ourselves from the powers that fought our fathers. We separate ourselves from the powers that fought our mothers. Mm -hmm. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we disconnect ourselves from ancestral powers, ancestral curses, ancestral covenant, ancestral evil spirit, and ancestral calamity and tragedy. We connect ourselves to the blood of Christ, to the Abrahamic blessings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. And tomorrow also, there will be a post about deliverance. A post about deliverance at 11 p.m. Make sure you watch it. Watch this service and watch tomorrow's service. Watch this service, watch tomorrow's service, and God will visit you and do something new in your life this season. In the name of Jesus, so obey. Raise your sacrifice and disconnect yourself and walk into God's blessing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen 
and amen. amen. Before we close, um, let me just take one or two testimonies. One or two testimonies. If you have any testimony, our Nehemiah chapter 10 is our scripture reading. Next week, God willing, Monday to Sunday, we are starting our fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Any donation, any giving, any offering, any sacrifices, you can do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If you have any testimony, if you have any testimony or you came to the conference, you have a testimony or God has answered your prayer on the previous month, you can call this number and share your testimony briefly. 240-709-5472 240-709-5472 You can call now and share your testimony with the saint of what the Lord has done. The Bible says we overcame the devil by the words of our testimony. So if you have a testimony as you share, you are gaining victory and establishing your deliverance. So if you have a testimony, this is the good time to share with the saint. 240-709-5472 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you. You can call now. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. The number again is 240. Okay, let's take the first one. Hello? Yeah, what's your testimony? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so I've, I've been going, battling a, a child custody case for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And um, I got everything that I wanted on my favor. Amen. I've been fasting and praying. Amen. Fasting and praying. And so, yes, Thursday, I stand to be corrected on Wednesday, the attorney called me and said, you know, I, I really like the way you handled yourself. Amen. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give you half your money back. From wow. You wow. That's favor. That's that favor. favor that's, God. that's favor. That's favor. Well, an that's attorney so giving you back the money. Wow. He didn't call to charge you more. The money, wow. Half the money that I paid him to represent me. Wow. Usually they will call you to give you more charge, but this time God granted you favor, and they wow, that is that is that is supernatural. May God's name be praised. Wow, we give God amen. glory. Amen. Amen. And, uh, I just want you guys to pray for me. Um, I put a transfer in my job, and I found out my friend I used to work with. He's the principal of the school where I applied. Amen. So I. I'm just hoping and praying. The same favor, favor, the same favor, the same favor you received, the same favor you received is going to also speak for you and you shall receive the job in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are welcome. God bless you. Favor, favor, favor. I pray that this month, this season, may you walk in divine favor in Jesus' name. Somebody's calling from Nigeria. Let's... Hello. Hello. I am trying to give a testimony. This is um, Stephanie Jackson. I said, you um, I just wanted to tell you that I was on the prayer line tonight, standing in the gap right now for my family and my marriage. And even though I've been sick and everything like that, I was just doing the little cow God. And I just feel like a little bit right now. Amen. Amen. I was sick and I'm sick from everything, even when I was praying along with the on the prayer line. I felt like something just took it off me right now. Amen. Amen. We seal your deliverance today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord make permanent your deliverance from all tests in your mother's house and father, father's house. May you be exempted from every calamity coming your way in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Safe journey. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please call and share your testimony. The Bible says we overcame by the words of our testimony. The number is 240-709-5472. 240-709-5472.
Hello. Hi, Pastor K. I'm Minister Esther. Yeah. I I just call the gift the gift thanks to God for life. Amen. I'm alive. I'm not better than the ones that lose their life or losing their life this very second. And I don't take it for granted. I'm alive and well because Jesus says so. With all the attacks, every minute, every second, Jesus Christ keeps me alive. Amen. I'm well. I have a summer. I give God the glory. I thank God. I thank God for everything he do on a daily basis, for everything and tonight. Ah, God put this prayer point in you because of me. So I don't take it like that. So every day on the prayer line, it's a one step, it's a, a pity that is moved from my problem that I'm going through. God is using this ministry so much today in my life. You don't have no idea. That's why I don't play. I don't play when it comes to this. This is life of death or death for me. I don't play. I don't play. So yeah. I thank God for you. I thank God for Mr. Esther. I pray for you guys every day that God will increase your anointing, your oil. Just as God is using you to save me. Yeah, I know I'm not the only person that are made of people that God is blessing through this mission. Just as God is using you. Amen. God is using you as Amen. a vessel to be a blessing to us. May God double 18,000 times unto you. Amen. May your children become successful. May Amen. everything that they ever desire, may God give it to them. Amen. May God give it to them. May God satisfy you. May Amen. God satisfy you. May God prosper you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. May God deliver you from all your enemies amen. in Jesus' name. Jesus and name. give you rest. Receive rest amen. this month. Amen. 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 To God alone be all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's take the next testimony. Hello. Bless God. Praise God. How are you? I'm doing great Fine, by God's you. grace. Is this Reverend K? This is Reverend K. No other person. Oh, oh God bless you and Minister Esther. So I just pray that. Well, yes, just I wanted to give a testimony. Uh, just about two nights, of, two days ago, I was sitting in my van in front of my house. And um, there was this man, you know, just walking back and forth in front of my house, in front of my van. And he looked like he was doing rituals or I don't know what he was doing, to tell you the truth, because, you know, I'm going through something right now. And I don't know if they were sent from the other people. I don't know who he was. I've never seen him before. So I started watching him and watching him. And I don't know what he was doing, kept going back and forth. So I just started because he looked like he was doing rituals in front of my house. I don't know what he was doing. So I just started to plead the blood. I said, I plead the blood of Jesus. I said, I plead the blood of Jesus. I said, I plead the blood of Yeshua, Hamashiach. And I kept getting louder and louder. And this man walked away holding his ears so he couldn't hear what I was saying. He didn't he didn't want to hear what I was saying. He just kept, and he eventually just walked away after he heard me say, I plead the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. So that's my testimony to let you know that Amen. I you know, I plead the blood and he walked away from it and he was holding his ears and he didn't want to hear it. But I also want some prayer because I don't know what he was doing, you know what I mean? No, so, the Bible yes. says the Bible says in Isaiah fifty four, verse seventeen. No weapon formed against us. No weapon. Amen. You, you got to believe it, and it is yours. No weapon. They, no weapon. They can do you no harm. Yeah. And stand on Psalm Amen. 35 as we have prayed. God will plead your cause for you in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 And amen. We thank God. We bless him. Any testimony, call the number 240-709-5472. 240 -709 Five, four, seven, two. We give glory and honor and praise to our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our great deliverer. We bless him for pleading our cause. Please, tomorrow at 11 p.m., I'll be posting a very important uh, message. Please do well to connect and listen to it and add it to this prayer point. It will prepare you for this season, this month, to walk in victory and to frustrate the devil's assignment and agenda. In Jesus' name. May God bless you. I look forward to seeing you uh, as we start our one-week fasting on Monday. God bless you. Bye. God bless everyone.